Hey guys, it's Lily Pet Polish and in today's video I decided to create these rainbow pride themed nails. Since it's the month of June and June is Pride Month, I decided to create these to show my support towards the LGBTQ plus community. And I've actually done a rainbow pride nail tutorial previously, either the year before or two years ago I'm not completely sure but I'll have that video up in the right hand side in the cards if you're interested in that video um, but this nail tutorial is a little bit of a more subtle rainbow gradient and I thought it turned out really really pretty um, this was actually sort of inspired by a nail design that I did years ago on my Instagram I'll pop a picture up on here so you can see what my inspiration was um, but I decided to do it with more more primary colors because what's a more pride than rainbow and of course you gotta add some glitter holographic polish over top of it all so if you guys are interested in knowing how I created this manicure then just keep on watching so starting off as always we're going to be using a base coat and today I'm going to be using the Holo Taco Long Lasting Base Coat. This was actually my first time using it. If you missed my last video I did a haul of Holo Taco. It was a pretty big haul and it's basically going to be all the products that I'm using in today's video because it was my first time using them and I was super excited to get my hands on them. Um, so this is not special sponsored by Holo Taco, although I wish, but yeah, most of the products I'm using today are from Holo Taco. So once again, our base polish is from Holo Taco, and this is called Not Your Not Milky White, I think. Um, all the details for everything that I'm going to be using in today's video will be listed in the description box below. And this was, again, my first time using the white polish from Holo Taco. And not gonna lie, I was a little bit disappointed because as you can see, it was kind of really difficult to apply. It was super thick and sort of um, gloopy even though I had just started to apply it. So I don't know if it's just like really fast drying or what it was, but it also was applying super unevenly, very streaky. And then also I was having difficulty with the brush applicator. It was just... It was just all types of wrong. Um, I don't know how I feel about this polish, um, but yeah. This is obviously not a review video, but those are my two cents on this white polish. The black one is like 10 times better. But anyway, moving on. I'm using this Beauty Big Bang Liquid Latex, and I don't know why the bottle of this says that it's a nail polish when it's obviously not, but yeah, this is liquid latex, so I'm just applying a generous amount of this all around my nail so that it doesn't get all messy when we do the gradient. Um, and because we're going to be making sure that the gradient is towards the center, it's okay if you get a little bit on the sides of your nail. And then for the rainbow colors, I'm going to be using all of the polishes except for Magenta Jelly from the Holo Taco Rainbow Collection. So again, all the names and details and links will be in the description box below. And then I'm just going to apply all of the colors in rainbow order on a cosmetic wedge. And I always dampen my cosmetic wedge. If you haven't already seen my how to gradient video, I'll have that up in the cards. As you can see in this clip, I did end up applying magenta jelly, but once I applied it on the nail, I realized that my nails just aren't long enough for the magenta to even show, so I ended up not using the magenta jelly polish. So I'm just using the red to purple polish, so six polishes on my nail. Um, and even then, honestly, I feel like the purple didn't show up as much as I wish it would have. Um, but anyway, once I was finished with the the gradient. I did do two coats of the polishes. I just fixed up towards the cuticle a little bit if there was any white space. And then right after I grabbed my tweezers, these are from Born Pretty Store, to peel off the liquid latex. 
And then going in with my Twinkle Tea number no. 2 cleanup brush. This is my go-to for all of my tutorials. I went in with some nail polish remover to just sort of clean up the little bits of nail polish that were still stuck around the skin of my nail. Um, so I just went around the cuticle, fixed that up, and then I went in with the Hollow Taco Flaky Top Coat. Um, this was also my first time using it, and oh my gosh, it is so pretty. I didn't think it would make that much of a difference since the rainbow polishes are already holographic, but throwing this holographic top coat over top of the holographic was just like so great. And then I went in with this detail brush and then some black acrylic paint. I usually use acrylic paint when I'm doing small detailed designs on my nails. So that is why I'm using acrylic paint. Um, so I'm just going to be using that to make the black edges of the nail. Um, I just felt like it would be a little bit too plain if I just did a regular rainbow gradient. And I just felt like the contrast of the rainbow and the black was pretty. And then also Black Lives Matter. So, you know, got to represent for both causes. Um, so, yeah, I just thought it would be a pretty little accent. And then once that was all dry, I went in with my Hollow Taco super glossy top coat. I like this a lot better than the regular glossy top coat so if you haven't tried the super glossy top coat out I definitely recommend doing so um, and I just love these clips of me applying top coat because it really just brings the nail polish to life and this is the glossiest polish that I have and it's just so pretty. They literally end up looking like gel nails. It's amazing. But once you've applied your top coat, you're pretty much all done. So that's all for this tutorial. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I have an entire rainbow playlist because I love doing rainbow nails so much. So doing this tutorial just really made my heart so happy. And then obviously the cause is to show my support towards the LGBTQ plus community, which is something that we all should be passionate about and we should all be fighting for what we believe in, especially nowadays with all these protests and things going on on. Um, I really do believe that we should fight for equality for all people, especially when it's things that people can't control such as skin color and sexuality. So with that being said, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe for more nail tutorials like this one. Thanks so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!